For 27 and a half thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away three Fenix to three different lucky people. All you've got to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, leave a like on the video, and comment your details down below. Do you want to upgrade your car in Rocket League? Then look no further than Rocket League Exchange. On this site, you can buy and sell Rocket League items. They also have the cheapest and most reliable prices on the market and the fastest delivery time around. Make sure to use code MYSTIC at checkout for a discount. There is a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And that's right, we're bringing back the Nothing to Something. We're on episode 3 now. Uh, I haven't been on this account in ages because of 2FA, so I couldn't even trade on the account anyway. Uh, but we're back with a lot of credits uh, in this episode. Uh, we started on around 3 or 4k after episode 2. And on the episode 3, I couldn't really add it up. I can't remember because some items dropped in our inventory, which is a shame. But it's what it is. It happens with trading. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. A short intro today. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy the trades. And I'll go over how much profit we're making each trade and stuff like that. Getting into the trades now. On our first trade of episode 3, we are buying a Saffron Octane for... 1100 I think that is, yet again it's smaller on my screen but I think that's 1100 which is about 100 or 200 on the min probably um, at the time of the trade because it's probably gone down now because everything's dropping um, but here we're buying a 20SX for 650 which was 150 under min at the time because it was 800 to 900 um, which is obviously good especially for a 20XX as well to get it that cheap uh, compared to other black markets it's pretty good here we're buying some sky blue zombies for 900 I believe that is, that's 200 under minimum. Uh, I can sell them for mid price probably, but it's going to be hard just because uh, it's probably revival crate. Uh, but here we sell the Saffron Octane for 1300 I think that is, that is middle price. I sell all my Octanes for middle price, if not just below middle price. Never sell them for min, uh, I don't anyway. You could do, but I don't. Here we buy the Lime Standard for 150 this is just 100 under minimum price. Um, just because standards are selling uh, well right now, uh, because it is probably the most popular boost in the game, uh, besides Alpha Boost, uh, especially because Alpha Boost is too expensive uh, for everyone. Here we're buying some Grey Zombies for 700, yet again 200 under min. Uh, I'll probably get a thousand for these uh, later down the line, uh, which is obviously good. Uh, revival Crit again, though that's the only problem with buying Zombies. Here we just sell off our regular Zombies for 150, I believe that is. Uh, regular zombies sell for 150, regular Draco sell for 150 as well. Uh, I don't know where we got those zombies from, it must have been from episode 2. Uh, if you want to recap then obviously go and watch episode 2. Uh, so you know how we got here. Uh, but here we're selling the 20XX for 850, middle price. Um, 20XX is hard to get rid of, this was a lucky trade. Uh, 20XXs don't really sell for middle price, but if you get lucky then obviously you can sell it. Here we're selling Sky Blue Zombies for Forest Green Noctane, a non crit very rare, and some credits. Uh, at the time it was a good trade, but now looking back on it, not really, because the first green octane has dropped a lot, like a few hundred credits. Uh, but we do get rid of it in this episode, so it's fine. Uh, but here we sell the non crit very rare for easy 40. Probably get 50 in the long run, but just get the easy 40 credits now. Uh, just to boost up the inventory uh, with more credits. Here we're buying some more items. We are buying, I believe this is, yeah, Buffy Sugo. For 400 credits, it's worth 500 to 600. And we actually had a guy that bought the Buffy Sugo and the Lime Standard uh, in one go, which was kind of lucky, uh, just to get rid of both items at once. Uh, but I think that's the next trade off list. Here we buy the Crimson Your Bands for 400 under minimum price. Really cheap, but really hard to sell. Um, we, we don't sell it this episode, uh, so I'll have to try and sell it next episode. I know that. Uh, but here we're buy, sa selling our Lime Standard and Buffy Sugo. Uh, to one to this one guy which is lucky it was from pc so he had to come on xbox to buy them but we did sell them in the end uh, which is good luckily to one guy as well uh, because they were quite hard to get rid of especially uh, the buffy sugo but here we just sell that gray zombies for a thousand uh, which we picked up for 700 um so you can buy zombies for 200 under min and sell them for mid it's just kind of hard to sell for mid depending on the color but here we're just doing a one-to-one -one swap with the photo screen fennec because it'll sell easier and it's worth more Plus, the phone screen octane is dropping. But that's the last trade of this episode, and let's get into the outro. Getting into the outro now, we started episode 3 on around 4,000 credits inventory, I believe. And now we're looking at around 6,000 to 7,000. So we made about 2,000, 3,000 credits in one episode, which is really good because if we keep it up at that rate, 
uh, we could do the series in about 30 episodes instead of like 50 uh, to 100 if it was only like what 1k an episode which is obviously good uh, so hopefully with episode 4 we carry on making that progress I don't know how regular this series will be out I'll try and do it as, uh, like, you know, as quick as possible but I'm obviously doing daily uploads now so it's kind of hard it'll probably be one or maybe two episodes a week um, but just something to enjoy like a little trading series on the side um, compared to the other epi uh, video sorry but that's going to be it for today smash the like all that good stuff uh, and leave your thoughts down below what you think about this series because uh, I'll read them and uh, see what you think